northern Michigan, skipping stones, appreciating nature, and looking for vintage clothes. So, Oh, it's another Duddy Vintage YouTube video. Hello, welcome back to the Duddy Vintage channel. Today we have a very exciting vintage clothing haul from a trip that I took to Northern Michigan this past week. It was a lot of fun. I got to see my family and I got to do a lot of sourcing. And it's very fruitful up there and I think you guys are gonna like the things that I found. Lots of cool, true vintage, lots of fun 90s and Y2K stuff, a little bit of contemporary things that are pretty cool. I ended up picking up over 60 pieces, so I just kind of want to rapid fire through them really quick, and then we'll focus on my top five favorite things that I found while I was up there. So let's go look at them. As you can see in front of me here, we have a of clothes to go through. Very exciting. Um, when we were up north, we went to a combination of thrift stores and yard sales to find all these fun goodies here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through them super duper fast because there's a lot of clothes and I don't want to make this video. Gildan, heavyweight, 90s, white tail deer crew neck. Pretty cool. Mickey Unlimited. This is like a, you know, a little fleecy guy, a little fleece graphic crew neck. This is a good one. Check that out. 90s Disney store tag. This one. A little green Tigger crew neck. Good stuff. I've been selling a lot of vintage Disney stuff to international buyers. I always notice on my eBay, all the vintage Disney stuff is always bought and then it's shipped to like Japan or something. Crazy. This is modern, but a Champion Reverse Weave U of M crew neck. Beautiful, nice color, nice fade. Good stuff. This is so funny. I don't care, it's screen printed tag. It says cocaine. And it's the Coco Chanel thing. This is funny, someone, someone wants this. This is one of my favorite things I found, so much so that I'm keeping it. On this Russell Athletic high cotton tag. We have this nice boxy, super stiff green hoodie with the drawstrings and the extra buttons and crap. This thing is so awesome, I'm keeping it. I love it. Onto the t-shirts. Oh, so cute, this little baby t-shirt. This uh, on this little majestic tag, this little baby pirates t-shirt. This, this is good for a kid or like a little Depop girl. Haynes Heavyweight, I think like a 90s tag. Just this Michigan single stitch little guy. This is a cool one. Size XL on the Spring Ford tag. Never seen this one. Spring Ford tag. We have this beautiful single stitch University of Michigan little college graphic tee. Anvil Red Bar. Nice little Sedona, Arizona graphic tee, little tourist tee. It's got this like round neck cut, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I think someone will still still want it. This is this is embarrassing. Okay, we got the Tommy 2000 fucking green shamrock shake green with the freaking felt logo. It's gross, but it's kind of weird. I, it's just too weird to not pick up. But I picked it up. This one's funny. Funny shirt. <clears throat> this one says, I'm not 70, I'm 69.95. It's on the Delta. The Delta. Single stitch. This is modern. This is a modern Harley shirt. 2015. But it's cool. It's got these eagle on the front. It's pretty sick. And then the Marquette Upper Peninsula on the back. Pretty cool. Polo Jeans Co. Ralph Lauren. Look at that. A little old school collegiate little guy. Pretty sweet. Little v-neck action. Oh yeah. This one's for Red Wings fans, all right. This is what, this one's definitely for Red Wings fans. Uh, Tag XL, Deadstock. 
What? Dead stock. I just, this isn't that old, but I like the fade on it. Um, it's this Blink-182 Neighborhoods Tour Tee. Crumpled up, all style tag. Nice fade, good boxy little guy, that's cool. On the Signal Sport, we have single dingle, single stitch. We have this cool rainforest wraparound. Super sweet. Look at all the animals. Animals! Ooh. This one we got on the Lee Sport tag. This like 2004 core, Malcolm in the Middle ass, University of Michigan Wolverine shirt. This is cool. It just looks like, yeah, 80s, 90s, Ocean Pacific Sport, little Hawaiian loop collar button up. Oh, we're under the button ups and other t-shirts. Now, this is nice. 70s, Lee, made in USA, Pearl Snap Western. 70s or 80s. Get a little of that tag. Yeehaw. Anvil Red Bar, 2XL, a dolphin long sleeve. This one's pretty cool. Eli Diamond, 90s, early 2000s. Black Pearl Snap Western with the eagles. The beautiful eagles embroidered on there. We love them. Early 2000s jerseys tag. Texas Tech hey. graphic tee. I'm shaking the t-shirts too much. This tag says John Omega Wright and artists licensed artwork. <laughs> this real tree camo shirt with this uh, this beautiful turkey painting on the front. Look at this tag. It's weird. It's a weird tag. From the 90s Oneida. Oneida. Oneida power tee. Just this little southwestern print. Just a little, little shirt. On the Majestic, this big fabric Majestic, I think it's like 90s, 2000s. A nice red, Red Wings embroidered t-shirt. Red, Red Wings. Red, Red Wings. Red, Red Wings. On this Batman tag and an all style blank, we have this Arkham Asylum promo tee with the Joker on it. Yeah. On this really faded 90s white Nike made in USA with this gray little embroidered center swoosh. Little baby tee. Well, this is one of my favorite pickups. On this Munising wear tag, really old one, really old fabric one. With this like mock neck, single stitch, Bowling t-shirt with the chain stitching. With the cool chain stitching, Dave. This was Dave's on the back. Sprock Funeral Home. Fruit of the Loom XL, Main USA, 90s, single stitch. We have Cheers. Meet me in Detroit. Meet me in Cheers, Detroit, 1990. Okay, pants, pants time for a second. These are cool. This is from a friend of mine's shop uh, called Gasoline Refined in my hometown. And she has a really cool brick and mortar store. And she collects a lot of sweet stuff. There's a lot of really good true vintage where I'm from. And uh, she had these in her shop along with a bunch of other items um, that she was giving me for free, which was awesome. So shout out to Gasoline Refined. These are sweet. So these say, Bortra Arnstorf. Yeah, these are like German wool blend military cargoes from like probably the 60s or 70s, I think, just by researching the tag a little bit. These things are heavy as shit. They are, they have like this crumply paper in the knees, but it's like in within the, the confines of the fabric. It's super cool. More buttons than you could count super big pockets and they're like 10 pounds. These are sweet. And I found three pairs of very similar in terms of their dressing size and fade. Three pairs of these old 70s JCPenney plain pockets. These are super dope. Nice med wash here, light wash. YKK zippers, all made in USA, really sweet. Some of them have Scoville zippers, I think. 90s, LL Bean. River Driver shirt, little 
thermal guy. This is kind of sweet. This old 90s Columbia tag, but it's a Colorado Rockies purple anorak jacket. Perfect for baseball season. This old ass tag, look at this. Empire insulated wear. Crafted with pride, baby. We have this cool, lightweight, full zip, little super simple camo hunting jacket. Super dope, nice kind of boxy fit. 2000s Harley Davidson, little shirt, little button up shirt, zippers, little patch, little buttons, pretty cool. 90s, LL Bean, maybe 80s. Pure wool, pink sweater vest. So soft. This is sweet. I like this one a lot too, actually. This is a really old, I think by this tag, 40s or 50s. Pretty cool. Maybe 60s. I'm probably wrong. Uh, this JC Penny, um, kind of super small red check wool shirt flannel. Flannel shirt. Really small, but it feels so worn and like just nice. It's so sweet. 40s or 50s, I think. Classic pair of Levi's 560s from like 1999. You know, everybody's seen them, everybody knows them. Good stuff. This is sweet. This is a little Depop special. We've got this Hot Kiss. Hot Kiss tag. In this 90s full denim, little bit flared jumpsuit. Stuffed shirt tag, okay? We have this super duper cropped denim jacket. Probably late 80s, early 90s. But those, look at those things. Look at how long these sleeves are. This is like... Okay, now the opposite of cropped. We have this uh, funky little 70s Sears Leisure Life Fashions. Nylon line, little satin line, weird little jacket, little denim jacket, little chore jacket. Pretty cool. A few more pants to round out. <coughs> Okay, we got one small stack of pants left, and then we're gonna go look at my top five favorite things. The tag says, Cumberland Maslin Made Clothes. Talon zipper, really, really faded and worn uh, hunting pants. Yeah, no, I know you can't see the pants at all, and I'm sorry about that. You're just gonna have to deal with it. These are awesome. Probably 60s or 70s. This is like that black, early 2000s Nike tag. We have these nice forest green colored nylon like track pants. Super sweet, big and baggy. I wanted to keep them, but they're too small. These are unbranded, but they have a talon zipper, like the 70s talon zipper. Um, these seersucker like cotton coastal grandma pants. Almost like a sailor's uniform. Super dope. This is Carhartt. Carhartt. Ever heard of it? I thought it was just modern Carhartt jeans and I don't like to pick those up usually. But it's got a Scoville zipper and it's made in USA with this little tag, this little paper tag. So I think they're from like the early 90s. I like picking up this brand. Cull, cool, cool, cull. And these are like um, some gorpy kind of canvasy, almost like faux leather suede pants. The name is Rebel. These are pretty cool. I feel like I pick up this brand every time I see it because it's always like good quality stuff and it always sells super fast. Last thing was probably the first thing we found actually on the little trip. Uh, it's these little 90s American Eagle little girly shorts. Little shorts. Cute. Let's go look at my favorite things. Wow, welcome to the top five part of the video. The part of the video where we look at the top Five. If you're still watching the video at this point, you must like vintage clothing like I do. So let's uh, let's look at these a little bit closer now. The first thing I want to look at is this really cool denim bomber jacket. It's mostly denim with corduroy and then like this, these weird, almost like oriental rug looking patches. It's from a brand called NYC Girl. It's definitely 90s. It's super sick. It's very heavy. I think this thing is really awesome. Next up, 
We found these at the Goodwill up there for $6. These are some Made in England Oxblood Wingtip Doc Martens. I'm not exactly sure when they're from. I'm thinking 90s, maybe early 2000s. I don't remember exactly when they stopped making Doc Martens in England commonly. Um, but these things are beautiful. They're super heavy. The soles look amazing. They got that beautiful oxblood color. A little distressed. Shoelaces are great. Super nice condition. These things are beautiful. They're just, they just are. These are a brand called Avalon Collection. We have these sort of big baggy Jinko knockoff pants, denim, black denim. Super cool, nicely faded, frayed at the hem a little bit. And then they have this, this dude here absolutely just dunking on them. Just dunking on them. Dunking Donuts. My second favorite find of this trip was these two pairs of World War II field overpants used for snow camouflage. They're big, wide, baggy pants made to be worn over soldiers' pants. One button here, this big tag on the inside, it's actually dated 1945. Shows the date that it was manufactured. Super cool. These have actually already been sold. Shout out Wild West Vintage. Thanks for picking these up. Um, both those pairs, they're identical. Those are really unique, very cool pieces. My favorite thing that I found on this trip is this Champion Reverse Weave Warm Up. 80s, late 80s, early 90s, red. New York Athletic Club hoodie. This thing is sweet. Very nicely faded, uh, nice boxy fit. I believe it's tagged large, medium, a little bit smaller, but super sick. I looked up what it costs to be in the New York Athletic Club, and it's like, it's like $8,500 just to sign up. And then like $3,000 a year what? What? That's so much money? Who's doing that? If you're doing that, don't do that. That's so much money for no reason. Stupid. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Um, consider following me on Instagram. If you want to buy anything, if you like anything that you saw, it's all going to be for sale. Um, you can check out my links below. Would you please consider smashing the subscribe button consider it consider it